when I was a kid, I thought anything undersea was cool as heck. All right, scuba diving, sharks, treasure and sunken ships, all that was cool as heck. So today I thought it'd be fun to do a bunch of undersea themed pinball tables. All right, let's dive right in. First up, Jaws on FX3. Let's play it. That is some good aiming, Chief. Now there's a, a few different Jaws tables out there, and we'll take a look at a couple today. Are there? And uh, don't know my way around this one real well yet, but we're just gonna play it, check it out. In this theme video, you're gonna see a ball or two from a lot of different tables. We're not gonna play whole games or anything like that, and these aren't tutorials. They're just taking a look at. That was close. They're just taking a look at some tables of uh, undersea stuff. Because what's not cool about undersea? I'm gonna try and hit the cage. Lock the ball. Okay, lock the ball in the cage. Okay. I got that one locked. All right. All right. I hit it again, not sure what happened there. I do love all the little touches from the movie. The barrels up there, the orca, of course. Now let's see, see what he's up Quint to. on the end there, the pulpit. This might be the greatest movie of all time, by the way. Pretty sure it's my favorite. Select your mission. Uh, Menace, okay, let's do that one. Lurking around for a while now, aren't you? Try and hit the red flashing things, which is the uh, cage. There's one. Oh. Well, that's Jaws. Jaws on FX3. Let's go, let's go find another undersea table to play. Diver, go for level one. All right, this is Atlantis. A bally table looks to be, oh, what, mid to late 80s? Go for level one, she says. There's some blinking ones. I guess I'm supposed to hit those. Let's give it a shot. Some kind of capture hole there. Oh, boy, that's an ambitious back glass, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that something? And lock. Go for level two. Ooh, all right, go for level two. All right. Ooh. Um, got some drop targets in the middle. Those are always fun to go after. Let's do that. On, hey, got the whole row done. Do it again. Ooh. I like the table. Look at the sharks in the middle. That's cool. This is what I always dug as a kid, man. This kind of stuff. Great. Go for level two. Uh, okay. How do we go for level two, I wonder? Uh, not lose the ball immediately is probably a good start. Let's do that one more time. Go for level two. Go for level two. Hey. Got the ramp on the left blinking quite a bit, and I missed it. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, that's Atlantis from Bally. Let's check out another one. Hey, I matched. Let's go on to the next one. Secrets of the Deep. An FX3 table, which is cool as heck looking. I have not played it before, so this is all new to me. Really like the look of it, though. Oh, we got a little sub thing here. That's cool. Hey, look at that uh, octopus there. That's cool. Got some sort of letters in the middle that are lighting up for me, so I want to hit those. Oh, we got a spinner. I always dig spinners. Anytime I can hit it, rip one through the spinner, it's always a good thing. 
if you probably, if you watch my videos, you probably know by now that I really like FX3 cables. They're almost always really good. I can see me digging this. Look at that back glass. That is hot. That's great. I just realized I got clippers up top. Jeez. All right, so let's hit it up there and try that again. Periscope up, okay. Oh, okay, you hit it in the periscope and you can shoot it out by hitting the uh, plunger. Cool. Uh, collecting samples. Uh, okay. Accomplishing something. I don't know what, but a lot of stuff going on here. Boy, a lot of neat mechanics on this table. A lot of stuff going on. I don't know what it is yet or how to make it work, but I like it. You can see this being a lot of fun. All right, look for an upcoming table playthrough and deep dive <laughs> under this one. All right, let's move on to the next table. This is Shark, an uh, old school Taito table, electromechanical table, probably from like 82 or something, I'm guessing. Boy, look at that back glass. That is fantastic. We got drop targets all over the place. Let's go. You know I love drop targets, man. See target, hit target. Knock them all down. Let's go. Alright, almost got the whole bank up there knocked out. Hey, we did it. And look at my bonus. They're all lit up. Cool. Oh, got a ball lock there. Ooh, okay. Digging this. I'm digging it. Oh, that was bad. Oh, I'm embarrassed about that one. This is a five ball table, though. Which I'm sure you're all thrilled about. Um... <laughs> Get to watch five of these. I don't have to play all five, don't worry. Oh man, well, it goes that quick, you won't have to worry about it. You know, when I started this up, the sound, it just seemed obnoxious and makes it pretty much unplayable. But, after playing it a while, I have to say that the sounds are obnoxious and practically unplayable. Uh, <laughs> this is awful. Man, these sounds. It, these might be the worst sounds of any table I've ever played. You know, that that just gave me an idea for another video. We can do that. I'll take suggestions if you have some. Leave them in the comments. And leave a dislike for this uh, table while you're in the comments. Um, wow, this is... Man, all those cool elements, I would think I would really like this. Ugh. I, I don't yet. Uh -oh. oh, I was hoping it'd pop back up. It does have a post in the middle. Lucky for us, this is a quick game. Whew! Boy, this would be a lot more fun if I just turned the volume down, wouldn't it? Play some music or something. Maybe sound of chainsaws and babies crying. That'd be more fun than this. Hey, that's it. Mercifully, we are done with this table. Woo! We're out. Here we go with the Nautilus remake. I like this table. This is uh, one of my more favorite ones of the Zack tables for sure. Well, the music is, is kind of low-key, sleepy style music. It definitely calms you down. It's not as raging as so much pinball music can be. Maybe that's one of the reasons I like it. I don't know. But I do like this table. Cool table. I do like it. 
You know, you got a table with easy multi balls and lots of jackpots. I'm a simple man. Doesn't take much to please me. What would please me? Some of that smoked mac and cheese that uh, Travis was talking about. Ooh, that sounds good. In the comments on one of my recent videos. Rock and roll, let's go. Ah, uh, that was nice though. I don't know what my high score is on this table. I love the big octopus on the left though, that's pretty cool. Anybody in the audience do any scuba diving? I ne I've never been. I've never even owned a mask. All right, well that is my best score ever, 137 million, right on. So there you go, Nautilus, the remake. Check out another. We got us another Jaws table. And this is a lot better than the FX3 Jaws table, to be honest with you. Oh, just fantastic. It's just swimming with bow-legged women. Literally the greatest movie of all time. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. Those pictures will be open for this weekend. Now I have a, an actual playthrough of this on my channel. If you haven't seen it, please find it. I'll put it on the card above. Just look up at the top of the screen there. Uh, fantastic table. One of, one of the best. One of my favorites. $200 a day, you're going to catch him in that. How's it going? Man, this is great. You know, maybe my my like of this table is, is colored by the fact that I love the movie so much. I don't know. I mean, but I mean, if you don't love Jaws something else out there. as a movie, I'd be shocked. That's been garbage, you know? It's been banged up. Sure, I know he's official. Look at that, shooting the ball up there. That was a great save just now. Woo. The music, oh man, I hope I don't get a strike for this. Man, this table is so great. It plays the actual John Williams music. Greatest movie composer ever. This is a future table, by the way. Uh, there is a very nice pinup version of this as well. And there's a nice VPX version that doesn't have the video extras, but it's still good. This is the best of them all, though, I think. Well, I'm playing terribly, but I'm still having a blast. I hope it's not terribly boring for you. Oh, it doesn't matter either, because it's over. Brandy, caviar, and don't forget the color TV. That is Jaws. Please Coming to a theater near you. Let's go on to the next one. You can't do an undersea themed video without SpongeBob, can you? Let's do it. This is an original uh, VPX table. And it's great. A lot of fun. Familiarity with SpongeBob and his characters is a must for sure, though. If all this is foreign to you, then it'll make no sense and none of it'll be funny. I've got a kid that grew up in the 90s and 2000s, so uh, I was very familiar with SpongeBob. 
even as an adult, I think it's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Eddie and I have tons of constant SpongeBob references during our adult lives that we're always throwing out there. All right, in your comments, funniest moments you remember from SpongeBob episodes. I want to know what they are. I'll tell you mine is uh, robbing the bank in the episode Doing Time. Um, pretty much anything with Mrs. Puff. And uh, Nosferatu. All right, if you know SpongeBob, you know those. Let me know your favorites. Trying to get to some of these modes here. I'm going to see if I can get that ramp up there that's lit with the red. There we go. Sandy's Rodeo Mode. I'm um, just going to hit the flashing red lights. I'm guessing that's what I got to do. <laughs> Can you hear the song? <laughs> ah, shoot. Goodness, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, and I love it. Uh oh. Yeah, the flippers are reversed. Oh wow, that's wacky. All right, I can figure it out though. Ah. Uh. Jeez. This is Spongebob. I dig it. So that is some great undersea tables. Uh, let me know what you think. Did I miss any? Leave your comments below. Hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.